Oh man, we are actually running a AAA game on my low-end Android device. So without any further delays, let's get started. So, hello gamers Asta here, and as you guys know in today's video we are going to talk about the new WinLater version 8.0 and trust me there are a lot of improvements and new features. So in this video I am going to test out the latest WinLater version on my low-end Android device, and at the end of the video I am going to test out some of the high graphics games. So without any further delays let's dive into it. So for today's video I will be using a device with Snapdragon 778 processor and Android 11. And if you want to know how to download the emulator, just ask me in the comments section and I will give you all the instructions towards it. So as you guys can see I have opened the WinLater emulator. And let me remind you that when I try to run high PC games on Android with the help of WinLater Glip version 7.1.3, the game was facing black screen issue and later container just crashed. Same goes for Horizon Emu version 2.0 where I was facing black screen issue. Now let's check if the issue still persists. Now for the best settings go to the main settings and set box 64 version as 0.3.0 and the preset as compatibility. Now set the wine version as 9.2. After that create a brand new container and set the resolution as 800 by 600. Now set the graphic driver as Turnip if you have a Snapdragon processor and DX wrapper as DXVK. Now set the audio driver as Pulse Audio, then enable the Show FPS option. Then if you want, change the theme as Black. Now in order to enable the FPS bar, go to the Environment Variables, then select Add and then DXVK Hub, then select both FPS and Frame Skip option. After that go to the Advanced option. Then set the Box 64 preset as compatibility and now this is a new option where you can add Windows version. So I will be setting it as Windows 10. After that I will be enabling all of the CPUs except CPU zeros. Now select Create Container. So after creating the container, click on the three dots. Now this is a new feature where you can see File Manager. So basically help us to directly access other folders from our device so you don't need to launch PC games from container anymore. Instead go to the folder where your game is kept and then click Start and I want to add that this feature is still in its beta stages and when I try to start a PC game, the emulator just crashed. Now let's open and try to run a high PC game on Android. So today I will be testing Sleeping Dogs on my low-end device. So basically you guys ask me why I am always trying to run high-end PC games on Android and that is the very reason why the emulator facing issues. So I just want to say that I really want to test high-end games on Android and don't want to test a low graphics game and make a video about it. So as you guys can see, I trying to emulate Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition on Android. But unfortunately, we are still facing black screen issue. Let's hope it will be fixed in upcoming updates and I can say emulator is getting good day by day. And maybe one day we can play high graphics PC games on a low end Android device with 60 FPS. So hope you guys liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And I really want to say thank you from deep of my heart for helping me hit 500 subs before end of the month. Now I want to hit 1000 subs before end of the year and I know you guys will do without any issues. So we will be back with the another ultimate gaming video. Here I am Asta, signing out and goodbye.